Well, it looks like the Leafs are going to be searching for a new general manager. Hey guys, Aaron Warder here, AWO, presenting you another video on the NHL, my trauma police this time. This is my sports channel that, that uh, also features wrestling. It's called Laying a Smackdown with sports and wrestling. So if you're into sports and wrestling, this is a channel for you. I talk about all wrestling related stuff. You know, next week we're going to definitely talk about prediction shows for for Double or Nothing, the Night of Champions, and Battleground. As for wrestling, we're going to do that. Three prediction shows. And yeah, we're going to talk about wrestling related news, stuff like that. Collision. But this is a sports topic, hockey-wise. Well, if you know me, I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. I make it pretty obvious. Most of my videos on hockey are Maple Leaf related. So it's obvious that I'm a Maple Leaf fan. I know, I know. There's a lot of haters out there that hate watch Maple Leafs content. And there are a lot of fans out there that love Maple Leaf content. But, but, as you know... If you're paying attention to hockey, NHL, and especially if you're Maple Leafs, there were a lot of questions up in the air this week about Kyle Dubas coming back as a GM, the general manager of the Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs. Well, today we got the answer. We got the answer. And I just finished watching a press conference with Brandon Shanahan. He explained the process this week uh, on uh, on him and Dubas and Dubas' agent on how – they came to a conclusion to a deciding factor not not to be extend him, not to give him a contract extension, not to negotiate with him. So as you as by but you could tell, he's not coming back as the GM, the general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs. No. He was a general manager for about four or five years. Signed Tavares, you know, signed Spezza, Wayne Simmons, Joel Thornton, you know, went Samson off. Jack Campbell, some big trades. Jake Muzzin. This season, you know, he went he went all, you know, Wyatt O'Wiley, Sean Lafferty, Jake McCabe. He clearly, Luke Shen, he went it all for it to try to make a standing cup. But as you know, the Leafs got bounced in the second round in five games by the Florida Panthers. Who, oh, by the way, oh my God, that hockey game last night, the first game between the Carolina and the Panthers, four overtime, seven periods. So basically two games and one overtime they played. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so as you know, like I had a feeling this would happen based on the conference Kyle Dubas had on Monday, the way he described how his family, this is the hardest season based on his family. And the way that, that conference ran with him, him taking Creston's the end of the season press conference with him addressing the nation nothing well the media. As every team does in every sport, they do that. The way he did, the way he described, felt like, yeah, uh, I'm not. I wouldn't be confident him coming back. I, I got from an impression watching that, like, yeah, he's not coming back. Maybe there's a small percentage chance he would come back, but I'm like, yeah, I think it's this is leaning towards him not coming back. May, or maybe like MLC decided, not, you know, we can't be patient with this. We have to get, we have to know by a certain date or whatever. They did it with the, they did that with the Raptors or Dick Nurse. They're like, no, no, we're not waiting on Nick Nurse. And the Raptors are looking for a new coach. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. Maybe the way that he said it's about his family, how it was a hard season on his family and him. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to go through that again. You know? I'm pretty sure there's other, there's other GM job openings out there in the NHL that might be looking, might have a new candidate in Kyle Dubas. Obviously, you know, and also other candidates are being rumored for GMs. Uh, we're rumored for uh, GMs or other organizations. Well, you know, have another team on the radar, possibly. That's the Toronto Maple Leafs. And yeah, being a GM of the Maple Leafs, it might be harder in your bigger market, but it's the Maple Leafs. No disrespect to Pittsburgh Penguins or the Vancouver Canucks, or whatever, Calgary. But this is the Toronto Maple Leafs, man. And I know I'm, so, I'm a Leaf fan, and you can call me biased here, but one original six, biggest market, the most biggest market for hockey. And, yeah, and like here, trying to get the team to win the cup, the Maple Leafs to win the cup after 60 years. Just, well, almost 60 years, more like 57, 56, 57 years. But him trying to get, being the guy to win the cup is bigger than those other cities. No disrespect. 
no disrespect to you guys, you fans of those teams, and no disrespect to those guys. Um, like no disrespect. I don't mean it. It's just gotta look at the optics, okay? But yeah, so Kyle Dubas is out. The search for a new GM is on for the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's just how does this impact Austin Matthews? Remember, he's eligible for a contract extension. That's just changed things. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Take care.